Yo, what is going on, guys? Jay Canada back here today with another No Money Spent episode. And man, I'm excited. I love making these videos, Brian. You guys always seem to enjoy them. So, win win situation. Let's get into today's video. Wait, that seems a little too quick. That wasn't really an intro. Um, hmm, what can I talk about? I'm uh, I'm all caught up on the uh, Michael Jordan documentary. I, I was missing a few episodes. I watched those. They're fire. MJ called us all losers because we can't live up to his standards, but it's good. You know, like took that motivation. Um, yeah, I'm ready to live a better life now. But anyways, we are back. And as you can see today in my team, yeah, speaking of MJ, the GOAT pack or GOAT card now available. He's a card that you can pull. It's not another set of spotlights to grind, which is nice. In addition, Giannis, Jason, there's a ton of stuff in packs here today. Now, as you guys can imagine, um, yeah, I'm probably going to waste some empty on packs here at some point today. We won't start there, but in these packs, as you can see, Kid, Bosch, Michael Jordan, Giannis, I'm going to take a look at a couple of these cards because believe it or not, outside of these fire opal cards and Michael Jordan, which is going to sell for like 9 million MT, there are actually some pretty good budget options. But again, we'll look at that in a second and we will definitely open some packs at some point today. But boys, to be honest, I'm still riding high on the fact that I went 12 and 0 and got Glenn Rice. Now, thank you for all the support on that video. Um, you guys were like hyping me up, man. It felt good. Now, I've only used this Glenn Rice card so far in Triple Threat Online. I'm gonna play a game later in this video, and I'm gonna use this dude in Unlimited. Obviously, we know his jumper. I think base 98, right? With Hall of Fame quick draw. It's insane, dude. It's so fast. I'll admit it's pretty hard to time, but you know, he's easily one of the best cards in the game because of that jumper. Hall of Fame range extender. I like all his defensive badges too, like pick uh, pickpocket pick dodger clamps intimidator he's got everything like i'm super happy i went 12 and 0 i did it the right way as well so i'm still buzzing from that if i'm being honest if you didn't get dave counts i don't know what you were doing Robbie on Twitter confirmed that Dave Cowens was in packs up until like, I think today or sorry, in triple threat online. I'm still buzzing about this card too. He is so good. He's going to be like my permanent power forward as we move forward. And speaking of my future lineup, I did want to update you guys who aren't paying attention to my Twitch streams, which you should link in the description. You can follow me. Uh -huh, I'm almost done current day. I'm so close, man. I'm four teams away. I will have uh, freaking James Harden, which is going to be lit. And the historics, I'm roughly like, well, I'm exactly halfway done though. So 15, I'm almost through the Kobe challenges, boys. I want to have them done by June. That's my next goal for when the next player of the month reward comes out, because then my lineup will be absolutely stacked. I mean, actually, let's just game plan it here today for fun. Okay. When I get all the challenges done, including James Harden, Kobe, and everything comes with it. Uh, I'm going to start James Harden at the point guard for sure. I'm going to start Kobe at the shooting guard, obviously also for sure. My starting small forward is definitely going to be Glenn Rice. Like he's just, he's that dude. He's got to be in there. Him and Kobe could flip uh, positions. My starting power forward is going to be Dave Cowens. Unless something changes, he's a 6'9", just demon. Like he's so good. He's going to be my starting power forward. At center, I'm more than likely going to start Hakeem. So my starting lineup, obviously I'm waiting for some cards, but it's going to be full opal and full fire. My bench unit will most likely include John Wall. And as you can see, I am about halfway, uh, maybe not halfway, maybe like 40% done the double doubles. Maybe I'll sell this John Wall when we finish and we'll start Gilbert Arenas, but I think Opal John Wall will make a find a spot in my lineup. I know for sure I got to have my boy Wilt in here at backup center, so that's going to be absolutely fire. I loved Wilt. He was so good in my 12-0, as was, uh, where is he here? James Worthy. He's going to have a permanent spot in my lineup as well. So obviously, Harden, Kobe, Hakeem. Off my bench, I'll probably add Chris Mullen, and then we'll have a question on backup power forward, I think, because I don't love Dan Issel. Billy Cunningham, not really cutting it, but uh, I do love, uh, where is he, Thurl Bailey. Unless we get a better option for Thurl, he might be there. Either way, boys, I'm going to have basically a full opal free card starting lineup. Like, that's crazy. And my bench with John Wall having a, a little bit of a price tag, but other than that, free cards and I'm going to be balling. I'm going to get 12-0 and in June in like five seconds. Just, just wait on it. Now, I know you were looking and seeing that like, oh, Jay, you didn't have uh, this card or that card. You didn't have Eddie Curry in your lineup. And that's because, as you can see here, I did indeed sell Eddie Curry. I got a hundred K for that boy. Uh, I did take a hit off his profit of what I bought him at, but it's all good though, right? He helped me go 12 and 0. In addition, I've sold a couple of my Evo Bams. There's one, 
one uh steve nash i pulled from a daily login pack there's two and xavier mcdaniel was from some locker code so we're up over 750 kmt boys let's go and i mentioned john wall we're getting some progress done on him and bam out of bio i've got this one and one other to evo probably gonna sell for around 50k each so i'm sitting here happy boys now the thing with eddie curry because i know a lot of people in my live stream are asking about him he was good in my 12 and 0 run like he was solid but the thing with eddie curry is if you're gonna run your offense through your center he's like dominant because he can handle the ball he can peekaboo he can shoot like i showed that video of him uh, a couple weeks ago and he is awesome like i'm not i'm not trying to like front like he's so good but for his price tag like wow oh he's dropped a bit under 80k i mean still like 80k for this card the way i used him in my 12 and 0 run he just wasn't worth it i was just using him to spot up for threes occasionally and play defense and i know you're gonna call cap on this but for me if i'm gonna choose that exact card off the auction house it's gonna be dino raja shooting once you get a shot release down he is money and he defends better than like any center card i've used ever and he sells for 35k <laughs> like if i didn't have wilt and i'm gonna get hakeem like dino would be my center he just would because he's not overpriced and he does exactly what you need a center to do so anyways that's just my quick tip on that i'm cruising through these challenges i'm evoing cards but yeah let's look at the new content for today specifically with our budget look okay so jason kidd he's the one of these opals that i would consider if he does come down in price if he comes down to like around 100 150k i heard they updated his jumper i think they might have given him base 98 but if that's not true jason kidd's tough he's tough to use offensively honestly chris bosh basically everything i just said about Dino versus Eddie Curry applies to Chris Bosh. I'm not going to pay 400k for a center, especially like Bosh, who's just going to play defense and shoot. Like there are so many cheaper options that you don't need this Bosh. Giannis, I mean, <laughs> one of the reasons I'm going to waste MT on packs here in a few minutes, because if I pull this Giannis, I mean, look at that price. That's unbelievable. This one doesn't even play point guard, which is cool. Like he's going to be unstoppable, but at least he's not a point guard. Now, Dwayne Wade is a card we all need to keep our eyes on. Um, He's definitely not selling for this expensive, but Dwayne Wade has base 98. He is super cheese. So if you can pick this card up for like under 8K, he is a great point guard budget option. For me though, two cards here in this collection that I would consider adding to my team. And I actually might, like if I pull them, I might keep them or I might add them to my lineup. Like one of these cards might be better than Thurl, but Reggie Theus, a point guard option. He might be better than John Wall. So he's selling for around 20K right now. He's six foot seven. That's what's, that's what's dominant about this Reggie. He's got pretty much every badge you'd want. If he had Hall of Fame range extender, uh, it would be a problem. He's got it on gold. And I think he has Penny Hardaway animation. So probably not the best jumper, but it'll do. He's definitely a cop. Like for anyone who's asking like, oh, what's a good point guard for like under 20K? Uh, Reggie Theus, go buy him today. But for my 12 and 0 lineup next month, this is a card that I might find a way, uh, a, a way to put him in my lineup. I know he costs something. He's not free, but this Darius Miles probably better than our boy Thurl, uh, Thurl Bailey. He's about 30K. He's He's a six nine power forward, which is fine by me. Again, he's got every single badge. Like let's compare him to Thurl, 35 Hall of Fame to 27 Hall of Fame. I think he's got Jeff Green's jumper is what I heard, which is super cool. Hall of Fame clamps, interceptor, intimidator, and he's got the ball handling badges like handles for days. Yeah, Darius Miles looks nice. But I'm not going to buy either one of them today. If I happen to pull them, then we'll use uh, use them in our lineup here in the uh, in the gameplay. But as you guys can see, I'll say it once again. In terms of MT, like I'm not looking to build my lineup with cards that cost MT. I have enough free cards and I'm going to have Kobe. I'm going to have, have Harden, etc, etc. So yes, I'm about to waste some MT on packs. It just is what it is. Oh, I didn't even look at the price of that Jordan. Hold on, hold on. Because you never know. You never know. It could happen. Michael Jordan selling for... <laughs> 4.5 he'll probably settle around 2 mil which is like yeah you know that's not bad if i pulled an mj or a Giannis, oh my word even if i pulled bosh or kid i wouldn't care or theus and miles so i can at least try them out there's plenty of good options here i've heard that the odds are horrible like i have heard that and these uh deluxe packs which guarantee a player they're not good on my main account i actually opened up a bunch of these deluxe packs with mt and yeah i was just getting the diamonds and amethyst so i'm actually gonna rip about 10 of these normal packs okay so that'll be 100k mt it's not guaranteed i'm gonna get some trash but if i get something fire it might just be fire so let's get it and let's be honest with ourselves i haven't pulled fire on this so oh my <laughs> i hate that 
I hate that, dude. There's like that split second where I'm like, yo, is this about to be it? And then it it's not it. Um, shooting. Oh, well, Allen Iverson is from this collection. So that's cool. I could have gotten that from a deluxe pack though. I hope that's not the only promo card I pull from these packs. That would be tragic. Yeah. Okay, Chris Paul. I'm actually surprised to see, and obviously these cards will come down in price, but I'm surprised to see that Giannis selling for so much because he's not a point guard. Like I thought for sure, you know, a, a card wouldn't go for that much unless he was like out of position. But anyways, three packs and that is our set. Oh, I thought this was going to be another AI. It's current series two Jokic. All right. I just feel like no money spent account. We're on a budget. You know, I have to pull the, the not deluxe guaranteed packs. I think 2K might have something. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. All right. That's not good. That's a silver. I basically made like 100K ish, just uh, evoing out those bam out of bio. So I really don't feel bad wasting it, man. Oh, Oh, a diamond contract. That's actually kind of, that's kind of helpful. I'm not going to lie. Do we get another? All right. Is this Allen Iverson or Nikola Jokic again? It's AI. Okay. See, now that I'm pulling duplicate Amethyst, I'm kind of thinking the deluxe packs might've been the move, but what can you do, right? Okay. I'll open one guaranteed pack just to mix it up, you know, mix up the odds, see what we get here. I'm not keeping track of how many packs I open. I just, I just got to be smart. So let's go. We know it's going to be something good. Okay. Okay. All right, maybe the deluxe packs are the move. Please, Reggie Theus or Darius Miles. Please. Yes, that's Theus, right? Unless I'm true. All right. Okay. It's obviously nothing serious here. It's not a galaxy hopeful, but hey, I'm not going to complain. That's okay. Reggie Theus is definitely a card I'm going to use in today's video, but also I'm going to hold on to him because I bet the prices will rise eventually after these packs. Like th people are just flooding. Wow. These non-guaranteed packs are basically a guaranteed amethyst. That is what I'm learning. It's a guaranteed Allen Iverson. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how to feel about that. I don't love it. I do not love it. Although like I'm pulling stuff. All right, let's go with another guaranteed. Let's go. I guarantee this is going to be a diamond or lower, but we'll, okay. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, I paid an extra 7k MT just, just to get another Allen Iverson dinner. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> is there no other amethyst in these packs? That's, that's tough. This is number four or, or five in this video. All right. There's literally three amethysts in these packs and I only get AI. <laughs> like I would love, I would love for 2k to explain that kind of thing, but you know, they don't have to explain themselves to anybody. Thank you. An emerald. Let's mix it up. My face cam is about to run out. Maybe this will give me the good luck. Okay. Non guaranteed path without my face. This would be the time to just let us go crazy. Oh my goodness. These amethysts. Just don't be AI. If you, if it's AI again, I'm giving up. I'm get, oh, dude. Okay. I, I don't, are these packs broken? I'm legitimately wondering if these packs are broken and they're just spitting out AIs. Like, I don't care. You could have given me like different amethyst and I would be less mad, <laughs> but the repetitive duplicates, like why? Okay. As we find a, a diamond from these deluxe packs. Okay. If this is Dwayne Wade, that would be cool. And it is, it is not shooting. Our, who is it? I don't even know who this is. There's some dude like Ken Reed or something. Oh, Larry Hughes, an Evo card. He might have a little bit of value. I don't know. That's like 120K down the drain. Okay. We'll open one more of each one more non-guaranteed and one more guaranteed and let's see what we can't find ourselves okay if this is an Allen Iverson I'm a flip oh my word this is like the definition of insanity I keep doing oh it's a different card thank you thank you all right okay so the non-guaranteed packs are a guaranteed amethyst that is what I've learned here in this uh in this collection whatever whatever and our last chance at an opal, let's do it. I know everybody's saying like these deluxe packs aren't it. And that's pretty much been true. At least, dang it, man. Like that's so frustrating. I don't, I just thought I could be blessed. I thought I could be blessed with something fire. And that was not true. As we get a second Larry Hughes. See, I'm disappointed because I know, I know packs aren't the move. Like I do it because it's, it's kind of fun, even though it's not really. <laughs> but honestly, like with 150 KMT there, I just spent, I did think deep down, like, yo, I might be able to pull something fire. Like just one time they could bless me with like one of the expensive cards. And we might be able to just go off and make enough MT to like supply me for the rest of the year. It's all good though. Like, what can you do? I'll make that 150K back by evoing more cards as I play the Kobe challenges, playing some triple threat. We're good. We're good. People are definitely in the, uh, on Twitter right now talking about how trash these odds are. It's kind of funny. So at least, you know what? I'm going to be positive. At least I pulled Reggie Theus. I did want to try that card out. I mean, I could have just, 
not I could just bought him for 20k and, and not gone through all that but you know it's good content for the video I suppose look at positive J at work um by the way I am inputting a locker code from my boy Killzamoy uh yeah probably a takeover pack as long as I typed it in right that is uh that is it so let's see what we can imagine I pull something out of this imagine I pull something out of the locker code and I could have just you know what let me just stop it's not gonna happen oh look I could get a frostbite pack yo me and that uh me and that Anthony David ah oh, I missed a drop gosh darn it Jason you are just trash at everything <laughs> I didn't even get oh I did get the new pack I was just about to say I didn't even get close to the corner the middle coming up clutch all right, let's go. All right, this is it. This is this would be so 2K to bless me. No, I'm just capping. Like, I'm not going to get anything here. Was this a deluxe pack? No, clearly it was not. Okay. Well, thanks, Killzamoy. I know it's not your fault, but I'm mad at you now. But anyways, I did want to get a My Team gameplay in here because I want to try out my boy Glenn Rice and we'll give this Reggie Theus a shot. Although I really should get a double double while I'm at it with John Wall. Ah, never mind. Whatever. Um, what other cards did I want to try out here? Might as well, uh, we'll put Wilt in the starting lineup because Wilt is a dog. Let's try this Jack Sigma. People really like this card. Can he shoot? Yeah, he's got 95-3. Wow. This would be a good uh, good time to try out some other cards. So how about uh, Dr. J? I forgot I pulled that diamond contract. Shout out. My boy Michael Finley's a dog. So is Bingo Smith. But let's give uh, Sean Elliott. Let's give him a try. What? Is he a 6? Wow, a 6-8 shooting guard. Okay. This is the lineup we're going to run with today. A 96 overall. Let's see if my boy Glenn Rice can carry and we'll see what this Reggie Theus is about. Oh my goodness. Well, this is going to be a good test for my boys. Dwayne Wade, MJ. Yeah, I don't see Glenn Rice on your team though. I'm not even impressed. I'm just kidding. That's the greatest team I've ever seen. Okay. Wait a minute. This dude has... No, he doesn't have the new MJ. No, I wouldn't notice that. He must have the... Uh, he must have the... Uh, what you call it? Normal Opal MJ. So I'm not scared. Reggie Theus. Oh, that was a good move. I mean, I got blocked, but I like the handles. Look at Dr. J. Okay, my first time actually using him. This card looks like he might move. Oh, this dude is straight off balling. He is straight. We don't care. We don't care, though. We got Glenn Rice. First shot with him is a green. You know I'm about this action, boys. Oh, look at Reggie Theus rim run cheese. Yeah, yeah. I still need to see his jumper, but uh, he's doing other things well. Oh, Reggie, this does have the penny jumper. Okay, I was obviously way off on that. It's a bit longer than you'd expect the release window, but you know, if you're open, eh, it's not very quick. Okay, it's not quick. Basically, if a jumper isn't base 98 like a Glenn Rice has, then I'm gonna think it's not that good, but yeah, okay, that's gonna take some time to get used to it. Definitely nerfs his value a bit, like a 6-7 point guard, but without a super clean jump shot release, it's still gonna be tough. My quick review is that for 20k, I mean, this card is still gonna be able to defend better than most small point guards, so if you can figure out how to use him offensively with that jumper, then uh, go nuts with him, okay? That's my advice. Oh, look at Glenn Rice, nice. Uh, I should've pulled up for a three there. Baited him though, I like it. Oh, I baited him again. John Wall, stay right there. Stay right there. Ah, uh, John Wall. Oh, okay. That wasn't even a bait. That was just his CPU. All right, I'm actually playing pretty good in this game. Yeah, I think I can flood this dude. Let's see what some of these cards off the bench can do. My first time using Sigma, uh, we know Thurl, Sean Elliott. I like the opportunity to actually, like, without a huge amount of pressure, try out some of these historic cards. What are you? Oh, Thurl, you got to be able to guard Will. How did he get around me there? Come on. Thurl Bailey back door. <laughs> That's the cheese, man. I don't know why people can't defend that against me. It's weird. James Worthy. Oh, what a stud, man. I don't know why people don't love base 11 this year. Like, I'm so green with James. Quick mid-range with Thurl. Yep, that's what we like. Look at Dave Cowens. The cheese play is still working. Unless I get blocked on that, it's like an automatic bucket for some reason. Good defense. That's what Theus can do right there. Locking down D-Rose. Glenn Rice, little fader. I love that animation too. It's not just his set jumper. That's nice. Look at you bricking a wide open white. I left that dude open and he still bricked it. Oh, who, Dr. J. And that Dr. J jumper is smooth. Maybe I need to put him in my lineup. And one Dave Cowens. Oh, that's even better than the usual two points. There it is. There it is. Okay, he's doing a good job defending me. But when I do get open, like, it, it's Glenn Rice. He's green. Oh, my goodness. It's so... The post fades and hooks are just automatic. I really need to start doing those, man. This dude is just killing me with post fades. 
Oh, I'm gonna kill you with gun rights though. All right, 35% covered. That's a green. I need to finish this third quarter strong, man, for real. All right, yo, I actually did go on a run there after that Glen Rice three I brought the bench in. We're up seven, man. This would be a good win. Like, I know it doesn't really mean anything since I already went 12 and 0, but any W out here in these streets against a good team gives me confidence, and I like that. Look at Thorough Bailey. I have 12 points with Thorough Bailey. I've hit like one or two mid ranges, but the rest are just those quick cuts off the inbounds. It's so weird that that works so well. Oh, John. Whoa, my boy, Wall. In a little bit of traffic. Yeah, that's why I like this Wall card. He'll be Evoed, and he's already a stud. Okay, and we get dunked on. Okay, starter's coming. Wait a minute. Another three with John Wall. I have 10 and seven with John Wall. Well, I actually got to keep him in there. Like, if I can get a double double for free, like, I should do that anyways. That's too deep for Will. Get out of here. Get out of here. Give me that board. Good team rebound right there. Good team rebound. Okay, James Worthy, stop. Pop. Go in, please. Thank you. 10 and eight with John Wall. Let's go. Oh, John Wall out to Glenn Rice. <laughs> the easiest bucket I've had all game with Glenn, and I get an assist with John. That's perfect. Oh my goodness, this dude's intentionally fouling me. Are you gonna- Is he gonna get kicked from the game? And I don't have freaking 10 assists with John Wall yet. Dude, just finish this game normally, okay? Please. Let me get a 10th assist with John Wall. Let me- Let me do it. Let me do it right here. Uh, nope, that's not it. Oh my- People really play this game like this. People really just want to be the worst. Like, you can't just play one final minute of this game. You have to be the worst. I don't get that. Dude, people that play this game honestly suck. Like, he started fouling, and I couldn't get a double-double with John Wall, which would have helped me out. <laughs> I have no words, honestly. Glenn Rice, not the best game, but I really started chucking there. I was just trying to get a free assist there with John Wall. I really like that card. Reggie Theus, man, that Penny Hardaway jumper, it just doesn't really vibe with me. But other than that, he's a pretty studly card, so good win, man. I made my opponent pretty mad, it would seem. And if you guys enjoyed this episode of No Money Spent, a lot of ground covered, man. I wasted some MT, but no regrets. Like, we could have pulled the Giannis or MJ. That would have been fire. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.